Hi there, Lorenzo here from Omnizir. Today we are going to cover step by step how to add Advanced Locomotion System V4 into our Renovate Vehicle Framework project. First thing to do is to create an ILS project from the launcher. Make sure you select the same engine version we used before we renovate. Once it opens, just select the main folder, right click and then migrate. Say OK to the asset list that will pop up and browse then to the content folder of your Renovate project. Select it and click Select Folder. As you can see, now we have ALS inside Renovate, but there are a few things to fix in order to make it work correctly. First, let's see how bad the situation is by changing default pawn and player controller in our game mode override parameters inside the world setting panel. RAM player controller is widely used, so we only change it temporarily now, but by pressing play, the character should work completely with this setup allowing us to check if everything has been migrated correctly. Of course, we can interact with any vehicle right now. So let's revert to RAM player controller as our player controller class and see what happens. ALS player controller initializes a custom camera manager. So to bring things back to normal, we can copy its code and paste it into RAM player controller. Hit Ctrl P on your keyboard to search for the ALS player controller and open it. We'll need this part here that calls the onPossess event on the ALS camera manager, so copy and paste this entire comment in the RAM player controller's event graph. Then click on the self component to see its detail and search for camera. You'll find the player camera manager class slot in which you can set the ALS camera manager. Now everything should work, but you can't enter the vehicle yet or make any actions upset movement. But don't worry, we just need to set up the inputs and copy paste another portion of the code and we are done. Opening the ILS based character blueprint, we can see that many of these inputs are actually missing. Renovate Vehicle Framework came with a pre made list of character inputs that are used in our custom character framework, still under development at the time of this record. We can use these to replace them. Movement and camera inputs are fine just as they are. Moving down, we find the jump action. Let's replace it with character jump. Stand section will be character crouch. And moving down further, we find this walk action input that forces the movement to walk velocity. We don't have a pre made input for this, so create it in project settings if you wish. Sprint action will be character sprint. And for the two rotation mode, we can temporarily use character focus target followed by a flip flop. For aiming, we can use character aim and camera action will be camera switch. Finally, there's the ragdoll input that as well is not present in the default inputs and has to be created. ALS player controller also have a few inputs to be replaced, so let's open it and head up to his event graph. You'll see these three missing inputs that you can delete and replace with UI quick menu, UI up and UI down. Nice, this will solve the input issue. Now let's make interaction with the vehicle possible. Open ALS character and go to its class default detail panel. Implement here RAN interaction interface and then open BP third person character. Let's copy the reference to renovate canvas and interaction sections from X event graph and then paste them into the ALS base character event graph. Reference to renovate canvas happen at plug and play and allow us to see the interaction interface. So delete the custom event that Unreal will create instead and link this cast node right after this on begin play function. Then try to compile in order to highlight with errors all the missing variables. You can then right click them and go with promote to variable to fix the issue. Click on the links in compiler result to be teleported to the next one, fix it and click compile again. Continue until you reach this anchor variable. Promote it, compile it and then be sure to set its default values all to 0.5. Once every missing variable is fixed, the compile should succeed. We can now see the interaction UI when we get close to the vehicle door that should change its icon whenever we switch between keyboard and gamepad. Press the suggested button then and the interaction should result in a sexy pose. Cause we have indeed one final thing to do. The in-car anim blueprint that drives all the interaction and driving animation is referring to the RAM based character skeleton while ALS is using his own. They're exactly the same though, so if we go to sample assets, character assets and we delete RAM based skeleton replacing its references with ALS skeleton, we fix this all in a single move. That's it, and now you can enjoy the power of Renovate Vehicle Framework and ALS combined. 
thanks for watching guys have fun creating with our products and don't forget to join renovate community on discord we love to see what you're bringing to life follow the link in the description and come post your gem we'll see you next time in another video tutorial cheers